We have to have that zeal to run after Christ to be like him. As we begin to pursue Christ, it develops our spiritual life. It develops our spiritual life to become like him more and more. Hallelujah. As we do that, it leads all to spiritual maturity. Praise the Lord. As we begin to run after Christ, he leads all to spiritual maturity. That is what we are in for. That is what we are running after Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, we have to know that the reason why why Christ laid hold of us. Praise the Lord. The reason why Christ laid hold of us. And we also have to lay hold of him. So that we can know the reason why you were created on earth. That is the only way. Without laying hold on the Christ, you will not know the reason why you were created. The only way you will know the reason why you were created is to lay hold to your father, your maker. Praise the Lord. Don't lay hold of him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that you can know the hope of your calling. So that you can know where you stand in Christ. So that you can know who you are. There is a greater thing ahead of us. Amen. We must press, press towards that call. We must press towards that goal to achieve so that at the end, at the end, God will say, well done, my faithful servants. This is your crown. That's where all our aim. That's why we are striving to fulfill the will and the purpose of God in our life. Praise the Master Jesus. Yes. To pray that towards that high calling, which God has called us for, which Christ has called us for. That is why most of us today, we are pressing, no matter the situation. We are pressing. Praise the Lord. We are pressing. We are pressing. We are fasting. We are praying. No matter the tribulation. No matter what you are going through. No matter the circumstances. But you are still pressing to know. To reach that higher calling that God has proposed upon day for you. As we do that, we become like him more and more. He begins to manifest his love. He begins to manifest his character. Praise the Lord. Amen. Manifesting his character of God help us to have a genuine character of God. To help us to have a genuine gift of God. To help us to walk the fruit of the Spirit. Praise the Master Jesus. Amen. Our God is good. Yes. Manifesting the word of God. Manifesting the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you read First Colossians chapter 12. First Corinthians. First Corinthians 12. Hallelujah. Amen. If you start it from... He said that for three, he said, he said, therefore, I make known to you that no one speak by the Spirit of God, call Jesus accused, and no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Mm. Praise the Master Jesus. Amen. Except by the Holy Spirit. First, he said, there is a diversity of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different ministry, but the same Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> but the same Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. And there are different of activities, but it's, it, but it's the same God who works all in all. Seven say, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one 
for the prophet of all. Hallelujah. It's given to each one for the prophet of all. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants you to be equipped. Not just for you, but for those that are out there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants you to fast and pray. He wants you to hear his voice. He wants you to manifest his glory, his power for those that are out there. Amen. For the prophet of all. For to what is giving the word of wisdom through the Spirit. To another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. Mm. To another gift of healings by the same Spirit. Amen. To another the working of miracles. To, to another prophecy. To another the signing of Spirit. To another different kind of tongues. To another the interpretation of tongues. But what are the same Spirit? Who works all those things? Distributing to each one individually as he will. Praise the Master Jesus. That is the heart of God. That is the heart of God. It is there. Hallelujah. We want to know. We want to know God. Apostle Paul said, No one speak by the Spirit of God. We accuse Jesus. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Verse 4 tells us about the gift of the Spirit. But all things, all these gifts, they work differently. Praise the Master Jesus. All these gifts work differently. They are different gifts. God give us gifts as individual. The way you will manifest. My gift may not be your gift. Your gift may not be my, be my gift. As we have been here since four days now, everybody manifests differently. But in one world, manifestation of sons of God. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all those gifts, but they are the same spirit that manifests in it. In verse 30, says, that first Corinthians chapter 12, in verse 30, say, 31, say, but earnestly desire the best gift, and yet I show you the more excellent way. Praise the Lord. Amen. Earnestly desire the best gift, but I will show you the most excellent way to walk in that gift that God has deposited in your soul in your spirit to manifest it the ways of God because the best gift came from God it comes from God not anybody else but from God from above it does not come from anywhere else praise the master Jesus he comes from Christ alone Amen. there is no other religion that name all these gifts out Apart from Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How our God is good. All the time. He said, desire the best gift. If we go to that 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 this Colossian, that Corinthians chapter, that first Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 to 9. I read. Let me just read from, from what I said. Though I speak. With tongues of men and the angel, but have no love, you have become sounding brass or a clinging cymbal. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understanding all mystery and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could move mountains. But have no law, I am nothing. Amen. So that's why it's telling you just now. Let me show you the most excellent way to manifest my gift. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Even though you move mountain, you prophesy. Mm -hmm. 
You do all kinds of gifts, raise the dead from the grave. Without love, you are just something simply. Apostle Paul said. Praise the Master Jesus. You understand all the mystery, all the knowledge with that. You all have all the faith. Can remove mountain. But you have no love. It's nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you read further, in that verse 4, it says, Lord suffer long. Lord suffer long. And is kind. Love. Does not envy. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Love does not parade himself. It's not puff up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek his own. It's not provoking things to evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity. But rejoice in the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Bear all things. Believer, all things hope, all things enjoy, all things. Love never fails. Whether they, they are prophecy, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know all parts are we prophesy in parts. But when the wish is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. Praise the Master Jesus. Amen. Christ is the perfect love. He is our perfect love. Praise the Lord. Why am I saying this? We are going out there to manifest. The love of God has to be purple in our hearts. Amen. It's the love of God that we move all to go out there to manifest. Praise the Master Jesus. Amen. It's the love that God has for his children that is sending us out there to go and save his people. Praise the Master Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, desire the best gift. Desire the best gift. The best gift is the love of God. Lebro Shatayama. He said, even though you still have the gift of God in you, you still, I still have to tell you this, Pastor Paul said. Even though you still have the best gift in you, I still have to tell you this. I still have to show you in the most excellent way to manifest the gift of God. The excellent way to manifest the gift of God is walking in love. Praise the Master Jesus. Because all the characteristics of God wrapped in the love of God. It's hidden in the love of God. Christ alone is love. He loved you so much, he died for you, he died for me. He washed away our sin. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. Without his love, who will not be here today. Without his love, we have nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. For we to manifest this gift powerfully. To manifest the spirit of God in most excellent way. To walk in the manifestations of God is to walk in love. Because it's not every time you go out there and be laying hand people. No. Praise the Lord. But every time you can speak to people. You can show your love to others. You can kind, you can be kind to others. You can help others. Praise the Master Jesus. Those are the hearts of God. Praise the Master Jesus. To help one another. To love one another. To manifest Christ to one another. To speak to one another. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The fruit 
of the Spirit is hidden in the love of God. The fruit of the Spirit is hidden in the love of God. How our God is good. All the time. I say there is two types of spirits. There is a gift of the Spirit. There is a fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit, the one that elevates you to grow higher. Praise the Lord. It's the one that elevates you to be Christ-like. Like Apostle Paul said just that. He said, even though you speak a tongue, you move mighty, you cast out demon. If you don't have love, you have nothing. Praise the Lord. So the fruit of the Spirit is the love of God. The fruit of the Spirit is the love of God. It tells us in Galatians chapter 5. If you are there, you can read because of kindness. Okay, Galatians chapter 5, verse 23. Let's from 22. Say, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Praise the Master Jesus. Those are the fruit of the Spirit that Christ manifests that were kind to others. He was so compassionate to one another. He sees someone laying on the floor, he wants to raise them up. He says, see people suffering, he wants to send them free. He sees people being sick, he wants to heal them. Praise the Master Jesus. Because of the love that he has for us. Because of the love he has for the old world. Because of the love. Praise the Lord. Praise that Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The fruit of the Spirit help us to grow. He help us to grow to have a nature of Christ. He help us to grow to become like Christ-like. When you become like Christ-like, there is nothing move you anymore. Your body is crucified. Your flesh is crucified. Praise the Lord. What used to offend you before will not be offend you anymore. The gift of God is hard for you to, 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 to do that. Praise the Lord. It is fruit of the Spirit that gives you maturity of Christ. That helps you to be mature in Christ. What used to offend you, you will not be offended anymore. He will no longer offend you anymore. You are no longer provoke. You are no longer move to a flow. You are not easily angry. You are not easily to give ye to flesh anymore. Why? Because the fruit of the Spirit is rooted and granted in you. When the fruit of the Spirit is growing, you it change your character. It change your emotion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It change your characters. It change the way you speak. It change the way you think. It change the way every part of your body, every area of your life. The fruit of the Spirit changed it all. Praise the Lord. It changed you inside out. Physically, spiritually, you become conscious of who you are. You become conscious of who you carry because you carry Christ. Praise the Master Jesus. That is why verse 26 in that scripture tells us that 26 say, Let us not be this, this desires of van glory, provoking one another, every one another. Praise the Master Jesus. So when you are granted and rooted in the fruit of the Spirit, those things will no longer be your portion anymore. Praise the Master Jesus. How our God is good. You are easily provoked. You will not, you will not be provoked anymore. That's what God expects us to have as a children of God. Praise the Lord. To imitate Him. Paul said, imitate me, just I have imitated my father in heaven. Praise the Lord. 
Colossians chapter 2, verse 20. Sorry, Colossians chapter 2, 2, 3, please. He said, that ye, he said, that ye heart may be conformed, being linked together in love, out into all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ. Praise the Master Jesus. That is the heart of Apostle Paul. And Apostle Paul said that he, his goal for, for them to be a courage in heart and knit together, have a strong love, so that they may know, they may know I have the complete, under, complete understanding of the love of God. Complete understanding the things of God. Complete understanding the ministry and the plan of God for you and I. Praise the Master Jesus, Amen. which is in Christ Jesus. Because in Christ all things is hidden. In Christ, treasure of treasure, wisdom, knowledge is hidden. Praise the Lord. The foundation of Christianity is love. From the beginning. The foundation of Christianity is love. Love one another with strong love, not just with your mouth. Giving, giving us full, complete understanding who God is. Praise the Master Jesus. He enabled us to know the ministry of Christ. To know who God is. Praise the Lord. He's based on love. Foundation of Christianity. Based on love of God. Knowing the love of God makes your way spring forth. To manifest the gift of God in genuine wisdom, genuine knowledge. Praise the Lord. Helps us to manifest the genuine knowledge of God, the genuine gift of God. That is why Jesus said to disciple in John chapter 8, 31, 32. Please. Chapter 8, John chapter 8. He said, Then said Jesus to the toes. No. John chapter 8, 31, 32. 31. Is that? And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall send you free. What are the truth? The truth about who God is, the love of God. Praise the Lord. You shall know the truth, the truth. The truth shall send you free. He said, abide in me. Abide in my word. Praise the master Jesus. Hallelujah. You shall know the truth, the truth shall make you free. We want to know the will of God. We want to know the purpose of God. We want to live the life of Christ on earth here. We want to know his power. We want to know his gift and the talents he has deposited in us as individual. That will enable us to fulfill our destiny. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We shall manifest our manifestation. Amen. We shall shine forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. John 14, verse 8 said, Jesus said, I will not leave you alone an orphanage. John 14, 18. Philip said, I will not leave you alone. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Hallelujah. Jesus does not just leave us alone with empty handed. Praise the Lord. He does not just create us with empty handed. He offers himself for us. He is the one that is living inside us. He is the spirit that is working in us. That is how loving Father it is. Hallelujah. He is the spirit that is teaching all things. Any question.
question we want, that we are not able to answer ourselves. He is the one that is teaching us. He is the best teacher. I remember where I was, praise the Lord, before I become like this. I don't know my left, I don't know my right. Praise the Lord. I know most of, most of you know a little bit of it. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I just thank you, O oh Lord. I bless your holy name. Thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your love, O oh Lord. Though you are pursuing us. Thank you for your manifestation, Lord. I thank you, Father, for all that you have done today. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor, Lord. Receive all the adoration that you are to your holy Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Amen. Praise the living God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Of God and the wisdom of God. 
So it is the body that functions for God on earth. Praise the Lord. So every one of us are member of the body of Christ. Some of us are picking toe. Praise the Lord. Some of us are picking hand. But everyone is valuable and important. Some of us are ears. Some of us are eyes. Some of us are nose. Some of us are mouth. Some of us are teeth. Grinder. Some of us are, <laughs> you know. So you are in the body of Christ. And the body is complete. Amen. So you have a function. Can you imagine if the kidney is not working? If the liver is not working? If the eye is not working? So some of us, if you are not manifesting, that means you are a part of the body that is not working. And what is it called? Disease. It's sickness. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. So, so every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Say, so I have grace. So is that grace that you manifest? When you function in your grace, you are manifesting. You see that? Functioning in your grace is what? Doing the will of God. Praise the Lord. Is what? Manifesting. Praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 7. Say, I am manifesting. I will use my grace to the glory of God. For the good of men. And God will reward me. That is a simple theology of manifestation. God gives me grace to manifest for his glory. And how do I manifest that grace? It's for the good of my fellow men. Beginning in the church of God. The Bible says, do good to all men, especially those of the members of the household of faith. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. The Bible said, the manifestation of the Spirit is given to some men to profit all. Hello? Does that know what he said? To some men. To some men. Eh? It's given to who? Everyone. For the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. That means to profit each another, to profit everyone. Praise the Lord. So the gift of God is in you. The grace of God is upon you. And that gift is powered by the grace. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Two things here now. It said, so we have the gift, we have the grace. The gift is your talent. Your talent that God gave you is your gift. Praise the Lord. You did nobody, you can only develop it. It does not come from you or from me. You can learn ski. Are you following what I'm saying? But the talent that God gave you is your gift. And you are supposed to develop that talent and use it for the glory of God. So, when people are not born again, they function with their talents. Praise the Lord. And they can even perfect their talent to an extent. Praise the Lord. But when you are born again, the grace comes upon the gift. It now becomes supernatural. Do you understand? Yes. I have a teaching gift. So I could be a lecturer at a university. Amen. If I am not born again, praise the Lord. Amen. The talent, the gift of teaching will be manifesting. Mm. But it is not eternally manifesting because it does not have grace. Mm. When, I, when I'm born again, the grace of God comes upon the gift, it becomes supernatural. Mm. It's no longer just natural. Mm. Are you following what I'm saying? Mm. So when I'm teaching, talking to people, there is something about it that the Holy Spirit begins to work in their heart and in their mind. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. The same thing for a lawyer or the same thing for a doctor. A doc someone that God has called to be a doctor is the people you see say there is something. This guy is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's gifted by God. He did not because he's intelligent and he likes the money and he went for a doctorate degree. No, 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 no. Those ones can function normal. But the extraordinary ones are the ones that God gave the grace. The gift mm -hmm. to be what? A doctor. Amen. Same thing with nurse. Same thing with, you know. So the extraordinary 
what is a manifestation is, a, is an evidence of the talent of God. What you do and naturally do and love to do and enjoy doing and does it when nobody pays you is what God has called you to do. Are you following what I'm saying? If we have to make you do something, amen, if you are not enjoying what you do, you are, you are doing the wrong thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The way you, find, you, the way you know this is my gift, this is my call, is because you enjoy it. Even when nobody tells you thank you. You can't get away from it. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man. To the prophet of all. Praise the Lord. And, and the gift varies. Amen. And if you read this 1 Corinthians 12, it talks about the body. Amen. That the, we are members of the body of Christ. And everyone is an organ in the body. And as an organ in the body, you are given a grace to supply to the body. Every joint supply. You see that? Every joint, you are a joint and you supply to the body. So your manifestation is your supply. The, what you do for the glory of God, for the good of men, is manifestation. Amen? Amen. The theology of manifestation is what you do by the grace of God, amen, for the glory of God, for the good of your fellow mankind. Acts 10, 38 tells us that how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Amen. So going about the Father's business, going about God's business, Representing God wherever you are, in the kitchen, in the palace, in the in the street, wherever you are, praise the Lord. Like father, like son, like mother, like daughters, praise the Lord. So we want to be like Jesus. We want to talk like Jesus. We want to walk like Jesus because that is the will of God. That is why He saved us. That is why He recreated us. Praise the Lord. That is why he recreated us. And that is why he's conforming us into his image and likeness. So that we can reflect him. Amen? Amen. Now, the Bible talks about the I think Psalm 136. Let me look at it. The Bible talks about the sun and the moon. Praise the Lord. Psalm 136, I read from verse 1. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy and death forever. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods for his mercy and death forever. Hallelujah. Our God is the God of gods. He's supreme yeah. over all. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy, the Lord of lords, for his mercy and death forever. Verse 4 says, To him who alone does great wonders. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord will do great wonder in your Amen. life. Amen. I said the Lord will do great wonder Amen. in your life. Amen. In your marriage. Amen. In your destiny. Amen. In your ministry. Amen. In your household. Amen. In your children. Amen. God will do great wonders. He is, an, he, he is he's a specialist in doing great wonders. Amen. Trust him and he will do great wonder in your life. In your marriage. God will do great wonders. The case is never hopeless. God tests us. Praise the Lord. I mean, God, God try us. Amen. Amen. God tests us. Not test. Yeah. God tests us so, to, so as to give us a testimony. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God allows us to go through trials so that we can try us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Your faith does not work if there are no challenges. Praise the Lord. God knows that he has deposited something in us that is above the devil. God is not afraid or intimidated by anything. And God, for God to leave us on earth, God knows that he has equipped us with what it takes. Say, I have what it takes. Say, I have what it takes to succeed. I have what it takes to accept. 
Say, I have what it takes. I have the Holy Ghost. He's the solution. Christ in me is the hope of glory. I can do all things through Christ who infuses me with inner strength, inner ability, with grace, with anointing. Say, I'm anointed. I'm appointed. I'm chosen for this. I will not fall. I will not fail. I will accept in the name of Jesus. God who does great wonder will do great wonder in your life. He said to him that by wisdom made the heavens and his mercies and just forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters for his mercies and just forever. Verse 7 says, to him that made great light for his mercy and deals forever. The sun to rule by day for his mercy and deals forever. And the moon to rule by night for his mercy and deals forever. Now, to manifest is to rule. And to rule is not to dominate. Praise the Lord. To rule is to function according to your design. If God designed you to be a sun in the night, in the day, you are supposed to shine in the day. If God designed you to be a moon in the night, you are supposed to shine in the night. You being in your place, shining for what God created you to do is manifestation. That's how we rule. That's how we reign. The Bible said the sun to rule by day. And the moon to rule by night. So the sun, the moon does not rule in the, in the day. Neither does the sun rule in the night. The sun rule in the day. And the moon and the star rules in the night. They know their place. And they take their place. And they function in their place. For the glory of God and for the good of men. Oh, hallelujah. Say, I'm created, I'm created to rule, to, rule, to function for the glory of God, for the good of men. I am equipped. I'm fit for purpose. I'm fit for purpose. Your very size is fit for purpose. If you have extra fat, you can lose that. But your very, <laughs> praise the Lord, your very height, your very size, your very, you are fit for purpose. If God wanted you to inch taller, He would have made you taller. Yes. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> if God wanted you, amen, four inches shorter, He would have made it. God just left you, and wherever you turn, we change that and say that you are fit for purpose. Amen. Say, I'm fit for purpose. I'm fit for purpose. You are fit for purpose. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You are fit for purpose. I'm fit for purpose. My height is where God wants me. Praise the Lord. My length is where God wants me. Praise the Lord. But my extra size, I can deal with that. By myself, praise the Lord. Amen? So, the Bible said the sun to rule by night. Praise the Lord. So, I want to read the note I wrote here. Praise the Lord. The sun rule by day. The moon and the star rule by night. The room are shining. Doing what they were created to do. So we rule, we manifest. So manifestation is ruling. And ruling is manifestation. And manifestation is doing what we were designed to do. Praise the Lord. Amen? So they rule by shining, doing what they were created to do. In other words, they rule by manifesting their gift for the glory of their maker. They also function only in the sphere of their influence. One in the day, the others in the night. Likewise, as king and priest, we rule and reign in our calling. Through our giftings and our service. For the glory of our King and God. And for the good 
of our fellow men. For the good of humanity. Praise the Lord. That's why it's good to write in time. You always need it. You always need it and you always have it when you need it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you a son to rule by day? Manifest. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Is it a smile you have? Smile big. If he, is it a, you, are, you are good in doing things, doing good work, go ahead and do it. Manifest for the glory of God. Don't let people offense or criticism shut you up. Imagine if the sun say all the wrong things we've been said about the sun and the sun refused to shine. Not only ice age, there will be no age. There will be frozen age. Praise the Lord. Everybody will be like this. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine the moon refused to shine in the night? Here it may not be that important, but where we grew up in Africa, we will die. Praise the Lord. Without the moon, then, <laughs> amen. So, whatever you are designed to do, do not let offense stop you from doing it. What does the devil use to move people out of their place? Offense. 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 Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Praise the Lord. There are a lot of things that some of us have in our mind about somebody. It is nothing but misunderstanding. It's what you think it is, but it's not what it is. How does the devil function? You Something happened, you pick an offense. Why would that person do that? Why would that person say that? Why would that person do such a thing? But you do not know the circumstances that made that person do that thing. And you did not ask. But you assume that uh, you think you are smart. You are not smart. You are not that smart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Smart person in the eyes of God, we find out. That is why Jesus said, if you have ought against any, he said, go to him. He said, if your brother offends you, he didn't say, let him come to you. He said, if your brother offends you, you go to your brother. And ask him, sister, brother, this is what you said. I don't understand. What did you mean by that? The person will explain. Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then there, there will be clarity. There will be understanding. Okay, I thought you said, you, I thought you meant this. No, 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 that's not what I meant. All right. What happened? The case is end. But if you think you know what the person said, and you pick that offense, you are nurturing it. What happened? You invite the devil. They will come and magnify that small thing. It becomes a big problem. And you said, I forgive. But when you see the sister coming, you turn it with them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Offense. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Offense, unforgiveness, shut down grace. Make the gift not to function as they are supposed to function. Are you following what I'm saying? A lot of people are out of place because of offense. And it's the devil's trap and snare. Amen? So if you have anything in your heart against anyone, you must let go. You must let go. You must drop it. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. And if you are still feeling negative, then get the person a gift. Praise the Lord. What did I say? A very big gift that cost you. And this is how you overcome. These are practical things. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Don't keep an offense. Overcome offense. Jesus said, offense must need come. He said, but woe unto him. To him offense come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your heart is not built for anger, bitterness, or malice. Your heart is built for love. Somebody with me? Yes. Peace. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. So, we want to manifest. And do not let offense keep you from manifesting. Do good when you need to do good. The Bible says, he that knoweth what is right to do and does not do it to him, it is sin. Praise the Lord. Amen. To him it was sin. sin. Amen. So we want to manifest. We manifest by being where God wants us to be, by doing what God wants us to do. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Stay in your lane. Don't say because somebody is an eye and the person is seen, you are not seen, then you are praying you want to see. Praise the Lord. And maybe when, when you are not, God created you to be ear. Or created you to be nose. Praise the Lord. You say, no, 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 I want to see. I want to see. Then you are out of place. Praise the Lord. And if you overpress, the devil will give you something to see. And you say, I'm seeing, but it's not God. Do you understand? Let's stay in where God has designed you. Function in what God has designed you to function. And that is your manifestation. Praise the Lord. We, 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 you don't have to do it like somebody else. Do it the way God wants you to do it. Say, I am, I am manifesting. manifesting. I am the sun to shine. And I'm the moon to reflect. Now, the sun, the sun has the light and shines. But the moon does not have the light. The moon is aligned, positioned to reflect the light of the sun. Are you following what I'm saying? The moon does not have its own light. But God creates moon to reflect the light of the sun. So Jesus is the son of God. In him we are sons. We do not have light to reflect. We position in Christ to reflect the light of Christ. We position in Christ. So everything we have and manifest all belong to Christ. Yes. Every gift, every grace belong to Christ. So when we are in Christ, we are aligned. Christ flow through us. Yes. That is what it is. So what we need to do, we need to remove every hindrance in our hearts. Praise the Lord. So that God can flow through us. The Bible said, I was thinking yesterday, the Bible said, every sin a man sin is without the body. He said, but he that commit fornication sin against his own soul. Do you understand that? Yeah. So, all sins are equal, but some sins are more equal than others. Yeah. Animal family. Mm -hmm. oh, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. That's what I was thinking. The Bible said there are sin unto death, and there are sin not unto death. Mm -hmm. You see that? He said, but every other sin, he said, every other sin is without the body. He said, but he that commit fornication sin against his own soul. So that's a double job party. Because your body is the temple of God. Then why does Satan use sex to tempt people? Because sex defies the body. Do you understand what I'm saying? More than any other sin, sex, should I say, defies the body. Are you following what I'm saying? It defies your soul. It's not that God forgives, but it takes a while for your soul to be washed. Why? Because when you sleep with somebody that is not your husband, that is not your spouse, your soul is connected to that soul. So you have to break the soul down. Praise the Lord. Are you following what I'm saying? So it's very important that that's why the Bible says you must possess your vessel in sanctification. 